WFYI podcasts are made possible by Bloomington, Indiana, an American college town offering experiences like indulging in grub at Nick's English Hut, taking a stroll along Kirkwood Avenue, feeling the history and magic of Assembly Hall, and providing the chance to feel like a college kid again. Plan your trip at visitbloomington.com. I'm Kyle Long, host of Cultural Manifesto, just one of the local music programs you can enjoy on WFYI. These programs would not be possible without your financial support. And to say thank you, we want to send you to see Lyle Lovett when he comes to Indianapolis on July 28th. Choose a concert ticket as your gift when you donate at wfyi.org slash give. And thanks for supporting WFYI. This is WFYI News Now. It's June 28th, and I'm Abriana Heron. On today's show, a student's family says his Hamilton Southeastern school failed to respond when he was sexually assaulted multiple times. The principal of North Central High School resigns just over one year after he took the position. And the U.S. Department of State visits Indiana to promote a new refugee resettlement program. Just this year, Indiana has welcomed 1,150 refugees and Afghan special immigrant visa holders. Those stories coming up, but first, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Development Commission on Wednesday gave final approval to a new potential major league soccer stadium site. The proposal to build on a downtown site near the heliport was pushed through the city county council two months after Mayor Joe Hogsett announced the plans to pursue an MLS team. This is the second professional sports development area created for a soccer team in Indianapolis. The first was planned for Indy 11 at a riverfront site that's become the center of controversy involving a historic cemetery. This move from the City County Council effectively ends any city financial support for the 11 Park project. The new plans need to be submitted to the state for approval. And a 13-year-old student at a Hamilton Southeastern school says he was sexually assaulted by another student on more than one occasion. His family alleges school administrators failed to respond. From WFYI's Education Desk, Rachel Fredette reports on the family's lawsuit filed this week against HSE. The boy told his parents that he was forced to have sex by another student inside a bathroom at his middle school. The lawsuit was filed by the boy's parents in Hamilton County Superior Court. The boy is autistic with a language impairment and other cognitive disabilities. This makes it difficult for him to advocate for himself, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit alleges Hamilton Southeastern and school leaders failed to investigate when the allegations were brought to them. A district spokeswoman says school leaders took action to ensure a safe learning environment. HSC declined to comment further or discuss specifics due to the case's sensitive nature. I'm Rachel Fredette. The principal of North Central High School announced his resignation. The board approved Daniel Mendez's resignation Wednesday morning, just over one year after he took the position. Mendez has been in the position since the former longtime principal, Evans Brannigan III, was placed on leave in March of last year following allegations of misconduct. Washington Township Schools has posted the job opening, and it is not clear who will run the school this fall. And for our final story today, an assistant secretary from the U.S. Department of State visited Indiana this week to promote a new refugee resettlement program. As WFYI's Ben Thorpe reports, the program is aimed at community support for newly arrived refugees. Last year, the Biden administration announced the formation of the Welcome Corps, which allowed local community groups to sponsor refugees and help assist with settlement. Julieta Valls Noyes is the Assistant Secretary of the Bureau of Population, Refugees, and Migration. Just this year, Indiana has welcomed 1,150 refugees and Afghan special immigrant visa holders. So while we're very grateful to Indiana for all that it's done, we'd love to see more refugees resettled here, too. A 2022 report from Indiana University outlined barriers faced by refugees in the state and called for a number of supports, including more investment in affordable housing and expanded language services. I'm Ben Thorpe. That's all for today's episode of WFYI News Now. 
Our podcast is produced by Drew Doblin with support from the news team at WFYI and public media journalists across the state. Our news director is Sarah Neil Estes. Kendall Antron produced our music. And I'm your host, Abriana Heron. If you liked today's episode, remember to subscribe and share. And follow WFYI on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to check in on our newsroom throughout the day. Thanks for listening. We'll be back on Monday. WFYI podcasts are made possible by Bloomington, Indiana an American college town offering experiences like indulging in grub at Nick's English Hut, taking a stroll along Kirkwood Avenue, feeling the history and magic of Assembly Hall, and providing the chance to feel like a college kid again. Plan your trip at visitbloomington.com.